Hey guys, it's Skulker 3. A brief intro because I didn't really leave myself much time in the actual part to do it. I'm just going to show off what the special edition looks like a bit, um, as well as show what Guybrush's voice actor sounds like, because I think it's really good. They chose a good guy. Um, also to tell you that the rest of this project is going to have to be post-commentary, because I can't get it to record both the game audio and my voice at the same time. It's really annoying. So yeah, this is what the special edition graphics look like. You can also hear a difference in the music, so it's pretty cool. And now we are going to hear, around about now at least, we're going to hear what Guybrush sounds like. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Just waiting to look at another thing. There we go. Tender touch pirate powder prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. So yeah, um, as I said, it's going to have to be, you can also have it in display model. See, you can also have the voiceover in the classic mode. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think I've said everything I need to say. That's what the special edition looks and sounds like. And it's going to be post-commentary. Because I can't record both at the same time. So, now we're just going to get on with the actual part, which is a separate video. So, goodbye, and I'll see you in about two seconds. Bye! Hey guys, it's Skullkid3, and welcome to part five of Let's Play LeChuck's Revenge. In the last part, we got the ingredients to make a voodoo doll of Lago Le Grand, and in this part, we're going to actually make the voodoo doll. Let's go! Eventually. Come on. There you go. Back again, Mr. Streepwood. About that voodoo doll. Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Not quite a part of his head. But maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Maybe you can indeed, but that would be creepy. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Thanks. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? You bet I do! I have this pearly white bra and I'm not sure why. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. Alright, and now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Lago's head. A single piece of Lago's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. Alright, if you say so. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah! Indeed we do. It's good to see you're showing such enthusiasm for killing another person. <coughs> hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, voodoo lady! One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Don't worry, we don't have to get that close. But we have to be in the same room as him, basically. Uh, so, yes. I'm sorry I haven't done much uploading of anything recently, but as you may be able to hear, I'm not entirely certain. I'm not very good at telling when someone sounds ill, but yeah, I've been a bit not utterly fantastic in terms of health recently, but I think I'm well enough to record now. Um, so yeah, that's all good, and Guybrush lagged a bit there, but that might just be the video playback for me. I don't know, we'll have to see at a later date. So, uh, let's go and get Lago Le Grand and stop him from his terrorizing of Scab Island. The slimy little toad. I have to say, if you listen to his voice in the special edition, I think they got his voice really wrong. I think he needs to have a nasally voice because he's got such a huge nose. But they make him sound like a thug, which, you know, still makes sense, but I still don't think it's quite right. Anyways, it's time to get our revenge. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room! Ow! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. I'm 
sure you are. Ah! How are you doing that? Now, I gotta grant you're a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make me. Ah! Die! I've gotten weird sound effects for him yelling in the old version. I'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. Fortune Teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? It's that. Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Yo. Boy, it is alive! We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years! Now we can bring him back to life! Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Captain Pugwash? Whoops. Okay, that doesn't sound too good. LeChuck's coming back. I'm afraid it's true, Guy Rush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But now it must be rotten, partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big blah, 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 blah. I used to know what that said, but I can't remember anymore. I check it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks! I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. So great, more library fines. We already have absolutely none. But yeah, we'd better go return that book, though we should probably also read it first. I don't think I do it in this part, but don't worry, we'll do it in the next part, guys. I promise, maybe. Um, so yeah, we now have to go and find a boat so we can leave Scab Island and set off on an epic journey. Now, thanks to us getting rid of Largo, there is no longer the embargo. Yeah, it rhymes. Sorry, there's no longer the embargo, the sailing embargo on Scab Island. So we can go down to the one place we have yet to visit, unless we did go and visit it, and I just forgot. It's been a long time since I did this, so give me a break. So yes, on the peninsula in the bottom left corner of Scab Island, well, not really the corner, bottom left area of Scab Island, we have this houseboat. And Guybrush walks along the really twisty pier, and we get there eventually. Bad Jamaican accent, go! Almost, in a few seconds. End time now. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dread. What can I do for ya? Natty Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it me eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Tell me more about that necklace thing you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but me gam... All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay, bye, man. Come again. An eye that has seen the world, you say? Tentative link go! Let's use the monocle of a cartographer! That's looked at a lot of maps and therefore the world. 
Would you like my monocle? Thanks, mon. This will do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Largo has been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, Mon, consider my ship chartered. Great. Where is your ship? You're standing in it, Mon. Yikes. Why would you say yikes? It looks like a pretty good boat to me. Oh, well. Part two, four map pieces and scary fish and crab and I don't get it. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies Lechuk's fortress. Yeah. Doesn't look too friendly. Hey, it's Largo and Crazy Man. So, when are we going to resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. Oh dear. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threequood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on Lechuk without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am trusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Largo away! Aye, Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building a very special dog. With pleasure. Okay, that sounds very foreboding. I'm off to find Big Whoop. We know Guybrush. We were there. So, on that note, I'm gonna end this part here, guys, because, you know, it's the start of a new chapter. Seems pretty fitting if you ask me. So, in the next part, we're gonna go start trying to find Big Whoop. I will see you then, guys. Goodbye.